Secret Wild Blueberry Patches next! Cape Cast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for July 1st. A sage Cape Codder blindfolds us and shows us hidden blueberry nirvana in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. And it's a rough roundup today, folks. In Hyannis, a laundry worker was in critical condition last night after her forearm got tangled in a machine that straightens and folds sheets. It took nearly an hour for rescuers to extricate the woman from the machine. In Falmouth, a 14-year-old boy is facing assault and other charges after police said he pushed a senior citizen off a dock at McGansett Beach on Sunday. Police said the boy, quote, thought it would be funny, unquote, to push the senior into the water. Hey, folks, the wild low bush blueberries are ripe out there. But we found out yesterday that Cape Codders who know where a secret patch blooms aren't too keen on sharing the location. This is serious blueberry business. We're here on the Lower Cape with Tony Khan, one of the knowers of things when it comes to blueberries. And, and Tony, can you tell me where we are right now? No, I, I can't, Eric. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I brought you uh, out here uh, with, under some certain conditions, and I'm prepared to take you uh, to where these blueberries are. But unfortunately, um, you're going to have to be blindfolded. That's fair enough. I understand that's par for the course as far as sort of blueberries go. Can you just sort of let me know what are the uh, ethics around blueberries and introducing people to your patch? You are sworn to a death, uh, a death oath. In other words, it, should you reveal this in a nonchalant, uh, haphazard way, say over a couple of drinks or something, then the consequences could be very serious. It's not too much further. I smell pitch pine and panic. Well, that could be anywhere. That's actually my new cologne. <laughs> All right, just, just come on this way. Just follow me. I'm counting on you, Tony. All right. That's not funny. William Zarek, 05568, <laughs> Lieutenant. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, Tony. I can't believe you have initiated me into the brotherhood and sisterhood of the blueberry. I'm so thankful. <laughs> now, what percentage of my berries do you get, Tony? Uh, well, I... You have to give me all your berries. Didn't I tell you that? <laughs> <laughs> and I can imagine generations of Cape Codders as thrifty as us or even thriftier, thinking this was Christmas morning. You know, if somebody doesn't come out here and pick these berries, they're just going to go to waste. We're doing a service to humankind, Tony. I've been picking blueberries all my life. My father taught me about blueberry picking. He, he loved the concept of free food. And, and it's something that all Cape Codders, uh, you know, we, we look for it anywhere we can. In the skies, in the waters, um, out on the, the low tide flats, and in the secret blueberry patches. But Tony, why so much secrecy around these joyful little berries? Because the, there are only a few places where they really are in large quantity. And should it word get out to, you know, many people, uh, they'd be all running down here for their free blueberries. And frankly, uh, you know, we, w we want them for ourselves. So. Pure selfishness. Completely, yes. And secrecy. While you might not find a secret patch of your own, you can find a list of fun pick-your-own farms, not just blueberries, all kinds of stuff, at mass.gov slash massgrown. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by blowing in the wind video from High Ennis. For tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 65, and for Wednesday, partly cloudy with a high near 75. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for July 1st. Till next time, see you. Cape Cast.